Hey guys, so just wanted to shoot a video here of my Scorpion PCC. So this is a Scorpion CZ Scorpion Evo 3. And it's pretty heavily upgraded, so I'll kind of go through some of the upgrades that I've done to it. So this is, uh, you know, probably one of the most upgradable PCCs on the market. So there's a lot of other ones out there. You know, the Strybog. Um, you know, the MP5, uh, lots of, well, I guess they're not technically PCCs, but there's a lot of AR9s on the market, things like that. So uh, what I liked about the Scorpion was that it's, you know, very affordable to get. You know, I think when I picked this up, they were about just under 800 bucks. So I'll kind of go through kind of from tail to front what I've done to it. So the first thing um, I've got on here is the, let's see, this is the Gearhead Works full brace kit. So I'm kind of reading off my notes here in case you're wondering. I just don't know all this by heart, so I want to give you as much information as possible about what all I've done to this thing. So this is the tail hook. Um, you can kind of see how, you know, it's kind of a brace and you can open that up and put it on your uh, arm, I guess. So you can see how basically actuates this little piece here connects onto the rear end of the of the Evo of the Scorpion and you pull the stock piece off and this is all aluminum. This kit I want to say was about $260 and it locks in real nice. It's super solid and you know folds across like that. So pretty cool. And then uh, let's see the second thing I've got here is the Parker Mountain machine. This is the micro front and uh, or this is the park or this is the rear QD mount. So you can mount a QD sling right here. And then I've got a spot up here on the on the front on the uh, M lock section so I can run a you know two piece sling on here. And then the next thing is uh, you know I took the stock sights off, the iron sights, and I didn't really like them. I didn't feel like they were you know very accurate. It's just the you know the circle um, rear sight and it's just not you know they work but you know I wanted to put a dot on here so this is a primary arms red dot this is the 50,000 hour red dot so yeah nice little red dot I've got quite a few of these on rifles so they work really nicely and then uh, the Magpul grip so one of the things that people really hate about the Scorpion is the stock grip is a crazy angle on it yeah I didn't like it either and I had a few other different ones, and uh, when Magpul came out with theirs, I just really liked um, the angle and the texture of it and all that good stuff. So then, uh, let's see, I've got the Gearhead Works Fast Paddle, so mag release, and I've got a HB Industries trigger in here right now, but I'll show you what I just got in the mail today in a bit. So this trigger um, with their spring kit, it brings it down. I did some trigger pulls on this and it's right at about five pounds. So the stock trigger is probably like seven, eight pounds. So that HP Industries, if you have a stock trigger and this is also a gearhead trigger or a gearhead works trigger in here, but the HP Industries spring kit brings that pull down to about five pounds, which is really nice. It's actually a really nice trigger. Um, also, let's see, the biggest thing that I did on here was the HB Industries Micro, let's see, let me give you the exact, the Micro K Conversion Short Barrel Kit. So this brings the barrel down from about seven and a half inches down to 5.3 inches. It also has, I did the, there's two options here. You can get their heavy barrel or you can get their, um, the one that's, uh, it's a three lug so it's got a three lug already built onto it they do sell a three lug adapter that screws on here but um since i was doing the kit i went ahead and got the uh the three lug adapter already built onto the barrel and i've got an omega 9k with their uh three lug adapter that it's really nice because it's quick on off that's it just as simple as that 
and it's a really nice short uh, suppressor and it's pretty quiet so for its size it, it works awesome and you can fire 300 blackout through it it's pretty strong it's a strong little can so you'll see a lot of guys have those run those um, they're I just feel like it's a perfect suppressor for the uh, for the scorpion or any of the PCCs really uh, moving forward let's see I've got the HB Industries uh, Delta uh, charging handle here so this one it's metal and it runs in metal so they suggest not to use it they suggest using their plastic one but honestly it works pretty good I haven't had any problems with it I just keep it lubed in here and uh, it works fine and then uh, finally so what I got today is I ended up I've been looking at this for a while I ended up getting the uh, Franklin Armory binary trigger system so this is pretty cool if you haven't seen these there's some videos online of these things shooting and it's pretty cool so it's basically when you pull back it's a three position trigger so when you pull back on it you have um you get you know you fire one shot and then when you let go it fires a shot so it's pretty fast and uh yeah it's a pretty cool little trigger setup so it comes with uh new um safety switches so these are parker mountain machine right now so i'll probably end up having to use the franklin armory ones i would think with this kit so i haven't installed it yet but um my trigger pack's already drilled out uh from when i switched to this trigger so it should be pretty easy to install so i'll let you guys know how that goes and uh yeah, looking forward to shooting this thing in with the binary trigger. It'd be pretty sweet. So, yeah, pretty excited about that. And then uh, this, so this trigger is, I've seen these anywhere from about $400 to $500. So if you're familiar with Big Daddy Unlimited, they have these when they're in stock, they're $400 just for the trigger. So it's not, you know, it's not a cheap upgrade. But they didn't have it in the stock, so I found Frank, um, Prepper's Gun Shop had a deal where you buy this trigger and you get five um the man i think these are yeah manicore arms these are 32 round mags so you get five of these magazines so yeah i just got this from uh fedex here today so yeah five of those franklin armory trigger figure 20 20 bucks a piece five of these that's about 400 for the trigger and then you can always use some extra magazines so anyway um i'll get this installed i didn't want to install it on here because it just take too long and i don't know it's hard to install stuff when you're doing it on video so for you guys can do that that's uh amazing because i feel like it would take me forever so it'd be way too long of a video but i'll get this installed and then i'll update you guys on how it shot and uh yeah we'll go from there but if you guys have any questions about anything on the scorpion here um any of the parts i think i went over mainly everything that i have on it so yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and if you like the video please like and subscribe uh, help me uh motivate me to make and shoot some more videos for you guys thanks a lot guys have a good night